If our sun were just a grain of sand, then the Milky Way would be the size of North America, let that sink in. Let's imagine something wild, shrink the sun down to the size of a dust mote, not even a grain of sand, that's unimaginably small. Now, our entire solar system up to Neptune would be about the size of a coffee saucer. But the nearest star system? That's another saucer, placed a whole city block away. We live in empty space so vast that the nearest neighbor is literally down the street, if stars were coffee saucers. Now take that idea, and multiply it. Imagine placing 100 billion of those saucers across the surface of North America. That's how many stars are in the Milky Way, and how far apart they are from each other. Just surface area, we're not even considering the depth of the galaxy. If you're standing on the East Coast, the next star over might be in California. And what about the next galaxy, Andromeda? In this scale, it's floating about halfway to the moon. That's millions of light years of nothing, between just two galaxies. Zoom out again, and you'll see galaxies forming filaments, stretching across the universe like a cosmic web. Even when we shrink the universe to household objects, it's still beyond comprehension. We are smaller than we ever imagined, and somehow, part of all this wonder. So the next time you pick up a grain of sand, remember that's our sun, and we're just one moat in a continent-sized galaxy, drifting in an ocean of galaxies. Hit like if your brain just broke a little and tell us in the comments what's the most mind-blowing space fact you've ever heard. Don't forget to subscribe for more journeys into the absurd scale of our universe.